Remy Ma shit. Pat Poos, Hurricane Blue, why ain't go live shit? Probably a Philly angle, that's nonsense. A gun title angle, need to stop it. I'm a drug dealer. I got behind rock to make a profit. that she was the one for me was because we'd be sitting in the motherfucking car just talking all night. And when I leave her, I miss her, you know what I'm saying? So when you're we, not with a person, then he's... All right. Buckle up for the latest drama unfolding in the world of Remy Ma, Papoos, and the mysterious Easy. The story goes deep, and it's getting hotter than ever. Picture this, a couple deeply in love for a whopping 15 years, their journey rocked by fresh controversies. It all started when Tasha Kay, an influential internet personality known for her legal tussles with Cardi B, dropped bombshell allegations of Remy Ma's infidelity. This bomb was first hinted at by none other than Gichi Gotti during a rap battle. The drama didn't stop there. It escalated when a Twitter user claimed to have overheard Remy Ma during a recent interview with Easy, the block captain. The whispers about Remy's alleged infidelity initially surfaced in June, stemming from an incident at a Chrome 23 rap battle. Rumor has it that Papoose confronted Easy, thinking he was getting too close to his wife. Witnesses described a scuffle, with Easy ending up on the floor, causing quite a scene. Remy Ma entered the scene with her security, and heated arguments followed. Remy denied the rumors, expressing frustration on Twitter, but they resurfaced during a recent battle rap event where Gichi Gotti weaved the drama into his fierce verses on stage. While all eyes were on Remy, Easy, the alleged third party, decided to break his silence. His publicist, Nicole Sabrina, released a statement clarifying that Easy wasn't seeking financial gain from an interview. He merely wanted to set the record straight. However, it seems Easy wanted to handle the situation personally and hinted at addressing the rumors himself. Nicole expressed regret for any misconstrued intentions and assured everyone that she was actively collaborating with Easy and his team to avoid such misunderstandings in the future. On a brighter note, despite the storm, Remy and Papoose appeared united and joyful at the Hip Hop 50 celebrations at the White House in September, projecting a semblance of unity and strength in their relationship. The love story between Remy Ma and Papoose began in 2004, a tale spun by fate during an industry event in New York City. They shared a deep love for music and discovered common values and a relentless drive to conquer the hip hop world. Their journey faced a significant hurdle in 2008 when Remy Ma was handed an eight year sentence due to her alleged involvement in a shooting incident. Despite skepticism from others, Papoose stood by her side and they even tied the knot over the phone. Fast forward to 2014, Remy regained her freedom and the couple joined the cast of Love and Hip Hop New York, showcasing the resilience of their relationship. Their journey resonated with viewers and became an inspiration for couples facing similar hurdles. A significant milestone was reached in December 2015 when they celebrated their love with a grand televised wedding ceremony, marking it as the best day of Remy Ma's life. But now, the internet is abuzz with speculation. Some sympathize with Papoose, who supported Remy through thick and thin, while others question Remy's actions, drawing parallels to celebrity couples like Jada and Will Smith. Opinions vary, with some suggesting Remy settled for Papoose, while others argue she was never truly in love with him. It's a saga that keeps unfolding, and the question remains, what's your take on the whole situation? Is Remy right, or is Papoose justified? Share your thoughts in the comments section.